Imagine a future where every home is an energy powerhouse contributing to the grid as much as it draws from it. What does this mean for how we distribute and regulate energy? This vision of the future is not as far-fetched as it might seem. We're talking about the world of distributed energy resources, or DERs. This isn't just jargon from an energy conference, but the new reality of how we power our lives. DERs are small-scale power sources that can operate independently or in conjunction with the main power grid. They include things like rooftop solar panels, local wind turbines, and even small hydroelectric generators. These resources are transforming the way we think about energy distribution. It's no longer just about massive power plants feeding into a grid that delivers energy to your home. Now your home or business can be a part of that production process. Your rooftop solar panels, for instance, can generate electricity not just for your own use but also to feed back into the grid. This shift is happening right now. More and more homes and businesses are installing solar panels and wind turbines turning them into mini power plants. And this trend is only expected to grow. But it's not just about harnessing the power of the sun or the wind. DERs are also about storing that energy. Battery energy storage systems, or BESS, are crucial for making the most of these renewable resources. They store the energy produced during peak times, like sunny afternoons, so it can be used when it's needed, like at night or on cloudy days. This transformation in how we generate and distribute energy is exciting, but it's not without its challenges. The rapid expansion of DERs is disrupting traditional models of energy distribution and regulation. We're moving from a system that focused mainly on cost efficiency to one that has to balance investment, innovation, and integrating new technologies while still maintaining cost efficiency and grid stability. The integration of DERs into our electricity networks is a fascinating prospect, but it also raises a series of regulatory challenges. As we move forward, it's clear that the future of energy distribution will be a delicate balancing act. So what are these challenges that DERs bring to the table? Well, as we've touched on, distributed energy resources, or DERs, are changing the game for energy distribution. They're small, variable, and decentralized. They're popping up on rooftops, behind buildings, and in local communities. And they're not just solar panels and wind turbines, but also battery storage systems, electric vehicles, and even energy-efficient appliances. Now this shift is exciting, but it doesn't come without its complexities. As Bruno Kreeft and his team pointed out in their 2020 study, our power networks were designed for a different era. An era of large, centralized power plants, not a diverse array of small, distributed resources. This shift demands a whole new approach to network regulation. We're no longer just looking at cost efficiency. We're also considering factors like innovation and investment. One of the major challenges here is control systems. In the traditional grid, control was centralized. It was easy to manage the flow of power. But with DERs, control becomes decentralized. It's like trying to conduct an orchestra where each musician is playing their own tune. It's a complex task that requires sophisticated technology and smart regulations. Then there's the issue of market integration. DERs are not just passive consumers of electricity. They're also producers. They're active participants in the energy market, buying and selling power. This raises new regulatory questions. How do we ensure fair competition? How do we protect consumers? How do we incentivize investment in DERs? And let's not forget about grid stability. Our power grids are finely balanced systems. They need to match supply and demand in real time. But with DERs, supply can be variable. It can change with the weather or the time of day. This unpredictability can pose challenges to maintaining grid stability. Again, this calls for smart, flexible regulations and advanced technologies. Hill and his colleagues in their 2012 study also highlighted another important factor, battery energy storage systems. These systems are crucial for integrating renewable energy sources like solar power, but they also introduce new regulatory complexities. Who owns and operates these systems? How are they integrated into the grid? How do they interact with other DERs? These are all questions that regulators need to answer. As we can see, the rise of DERs demands a paradigm shift in network regulation. It's a complex task, but one that's essential for our energy future. And it's not something we can put off. The shift to DERs is already happening. It's not a question of if, but when and how we adapt our regulatory frameworks to accommodate this new reality. In the next scene, we'll delve deeper into how battery energy storage systems play a crucial role in this energy transition. But for now, 
let's take a moment to appreciate the scale of the regulatory challenge we face. It's a complex puzzle, but with the right approach, we can turn these challenges into opportunities for a more sustainable, resilient, and efficient energy future. Let's take a closer look at one of the challenges through the lens of battery energy storage systems. As we shift toward an energy landscape that's increasingly reliant on renewable resources like solar power, battery energy storage systems are becoming pivotal. Picture this, a sunny day, solar panels soaking up sunlight and converting it into electricity. But what happens when the sun sets or when a cloud passes overhead? This is where battery energy storage systems come into play. These systems store excess power generated during the day, effectively bridging the gap between energy production and consumption, ensuring a steady supply of electricity even when the sun isn't shining. However, integrating these systems into existing electricity networks is not without its challenges. As Hill and his colleagues pointed out in their 2012 study, the introduction of battery energy storage systems brings about a new set of regulatory complexities. First off, we grapple with control systems. To maximize the efficiency of these storage systems, we need smart, adaptive control systems. These systems need to be capable of deciding when to store energy, when to release it, and how much to store or release at any given time. Developing such systems involves technical challenges, yes, but it also necessitates regulatory adaptations to ensure proper management and oversight. Then we have the issue of market integration. Battery energy storage systems are, in essence, both consumers and providers of electricity. They consume power when they store energy and provide power when they release it. This dual role blurs the traditional boundaries of the electricity market, raising questions about market access, pricing, and competition. Regulators are therefore tasked with the challenge of ensuring a level playing field while fostering an environment that encourages innovation and investment in these systems. Lastly, we must consider grid stability. As more and more of these storage systems are integrated into the network, regulators need to ensure that they don't inadvertently destabilize the grid. This means establishing regulations that govern how and when these systems can interact with the grid to prevent unexpected power surges or dips that could disrupt the overall system. In essence, while battery energy storage systems are a key player in the integration of solar power, they also introduce new regulatory complexities. These range from control systems and market integration to grid stability. The challenges are significant, but they are not insurmountable. They require a nuanced understanding of the technical aspects of these systems, a willingness to adapt existing regulatory frameworks, and a commitment to fostering an environment that encourages innovation and investment. The complexities of integrating battery energy storage systems underscore the need for innovative regulatory solutions. As we step into a future powered increasingly by renewable energy, it's essential to navigate these complexities with care to ensure that the promise of a sustainable tomorrow doesn't remain merely a dream. Because at the end of the day, our journey towards a sustainable future is not just about harnessing the power of the sun, wind, or water. It's also about how we manage and regulate these resources, and that's a challenge we're all in together. But who will lead the charge in adapting our systems and regulations to accommodate DERs? Enter the Distribution System Operators, or DSOs. These entities, often unseen yet undeniably vital, are the linchpins in our evolving energy landscape. As we increasingly integrate distributed energy resources, or DERs, into our power systems, the role of DSOs is expanding and evolving in unprecedented ways. DSOs traditionally manage the distribution of electricity from the grid to our homes and businesses. They ensure that when you flip a switch, the lights turn on. But with the rise of DERs, their role is becoming more complex and far-reaching. Now they're not only distributing power, but also managing a multitude of small, variable energy resources that feed into the grid. Imagine trying to orchestrate a symphony where every musician plays a different tune at their own pace. That's the challenge DSOs are facing today. They're tasked with harmonizing a cacophony of energy inputs, from rooftop solar panels to local wind turbines, and ensuring they integrate seamlessly into our power systems. And it's not just about managing these resources, it's about innovating and adapting. As noted by Rooster and his colleagues back in 2014, the emergence of DERs necessitates innovative business models. DSOs need to pivot and adjust their operations to accommodate these new technologies. This could mean investing in smart grid technologies that enable real-time monitoring and management of DERs. It might involve developing new pricing models that incentivize the use of renewable energy. 
or it could require advocating for regulatory changes that facilitate the integration of DERs. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, regulatory complexities. As DERs become more prevalent, they introduce new regulatory challenges. Issues like control systems, market integration and grid stability now take center stage in regulatory discussions. DSOs are uniquely positioned to address these challenges. They have a deep understanding of the grid, its strengths, and its limitations. They're in constant contact with energy producers and consumers, giving them a holistic view of the energy landscape, and they have a vested interest in ensuring the grid remains reliable and efficient even as it evolves and adapts to new technologies. So, DSOs are stepping up to the plate. They're leading the charge in adapting our systems and regulations to accommodate DERs. They're exploring new business models, advocating for regulatory changes, and investing in innovative technologies. In this energy revolution, DSOs are more than just operators. They're innovators, advocates, and leaders. They're the ones who will ensure that as we move towards a more sustainable energy future, we don't leave reliability and efficiency behind. DSOs are at the forefront of this energy revolution, tasked with the daunting responsibility of managing these new technologies. The integration of distributed energy resources, or DERs, is a delicate balancing act. As we've learned through our journey into the world of energy regulation, the integration of these resources into our electricity networks presents a unique set of challenges. In this new energy landscape, regulators need to navigate a complex maze of priorities. On one hand, they must ensure the continuity of cost efficiency and system stability. These are the cornerstones of a reliable power network after all. However, they can't ignore the pressing need for investment and innovation, which are the drivers of progress and sustainability in the energy sector. So, how do we strike this balance? Well, it's certainly not a one-size-fits-all solution. Each country, each region, and indeed each community may require a different approach, depending on their specific energy needs and resources. In essence, it's about finding the sweet spot between regulation and innovation. Too much regulation can stifle innovation, impeding the development and integration of new technologies. On the other hand, too little regulation can lead to instability and inefficiencies in the system. It's like walking a tightrope, where careful steps and adjustments are needed to maintain balance. Critical to this balancing act is the role of the distribution system operators, or DSOs. As we discussed earlier, these entities are at the forefront of managing the integration of DERs into our power networks. Their ability to adapt their operations and regulatory frameworks will play a pivotal role in determining whether we can successfully harness the potential of DERs. It's also important to remember that this is not a static process. As technology continues to evolve, so too will the regulatory challenges. Staying ahead of the curve will require constant learning, flexibility, and a willingness to adapt to new circumstances. It's clear that the integration of DERs into our electricity networks is a complex endeavor, requiring a careful balance of various factors. But with the right mix of regulation and innovation, we can ensure that these resources become a valuable part of our sustainable energy future. As we've seen, the future of energy distribution is both exciting and challenging. The integration of distributed energy resources, or DERs, from rooftop solar panels to local wind turbines is transforming our power systems. These small yet variable resources are reshaping the way we think about energy distribution and management. However, this exciting transformation is not without its complications. The rapid expansion of DERs demands a paradigm shift in network regulation. We are moving from a narrow focus on cost efficiency to a broader perspective that encompasses investment and innovation. Consider battery energy storage systems, a key player in the integration of solar power. While these systems are crucial, they also introduce new regulatory complexities. Issues like control systems, market integration, and grid stability have now become significant topics in regulatory discussions. Adding another layer to this challenge is the emergence of innovative business models, particularly for distribution system operators, or DSOs. These entities face the task of adjusting their operations and regulatory frameworks to accommodate and efficiently manage these new technologies. The road to integrating DERs like solar and wind into our electricity networks is indeed a complex journey. It requires a careful balance in regulatory adaptations, harmonizing the need for investment, innovation, and the integration of new technologies with the imperatives of maintaining cost efficiency and system stability. As we navigate this intricate landscape, 
we must remember that these challenges also present opportunities. Opportunities to innovate, to invest, and to create a more sustainable and resilient energy future. So, as we look to the future, let's embrace these challenges with open minds and innovative spirits, because it is through these challenges that we will find the solutions that will power our tomorrow. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more insights into the dynamic world of energy and its future. Together we can power a sustainable tomorrow.